Sir Cannon, we are the only fucking metal band in Afghanistan. We are using our music. We just want to play in front of thousands of guys and girls who come together. They cheer and say, yeah, this is true, this works, and we have this kind of idea too. This is a war we have to win. That's why I've proposed an additional $1 billion in non-military assistance each year and help Afghans grow their economy from the bottom up. The U.S. government is funding heavy metal. At first, like, we're funding that. I don't want the entrance filled. There's some, you know, exchange of positive energy between you and the people, and again, it goes back to them, and it comes back to you. I love Kabul, but I hate Kabul. Steel gates, iron bars, floodlights, razor wire, and guys with machine guns. You got real heavy metal here. You got this metal, all these bullets and all, and it's heavy. I've never been to a rock show outside Kabul. It's said that it's going to be like 10,000 people. No! From the first chords that were struck, Everybody had a sense that they were part of history. Next award is the Global Metal Award. Would you ever imagine that metal would find its way to Afghanistan? When foreigners get out of this country right now, and be sure it will be a jungle, worse than jungle. I mean, in, in a jungle, there are some rules. As much as this country needs martyrs for music, I don't want to be that guy. If the Taliban find you, they will cut in two times like this, this, this. If we're not expressing ourselves, we're dead. <laughs>